Guys, Josh with Deprived Productions, coming with a third tutorial in Blender. That's right, more 3D modeling. The third one, we're going to talk about extruding. It's a really neat word. It kind of does some really neat stuff for the whole transforming thing because we're still learning how to transform our models. So let's get started. Boom. Welcome to Blender. Extruding, huh? Let's kind of go uh, what, we, what we went through on the first tutorials. Press the old tab button and switch into edit mode here and click on the old faces here. We can select faces while we're in edit mode, right? Let's select different ones. I'm just going to... Let's just select this one right here, right? Okay, so we got a we got a face select. We want to do stuff with the face. Do stuff with it. Press the E key and then just move your mouse and look at what I did. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. I'm gonna do it again. And it, oh, oh, don't go, don't go the wrong way. If you do that, it kind of does that. I'm gonna do it again, and I'm just I'm gonna keep on doing it. Nothing's gonna stop me from doing it. And you can just you can just I'm literally just pressing E. Pressing E and moving the mouse in whatever direction I want to go, and I'm just I'm just creating things. I mean, you, you know, you don't have to select the face though. So, you know, come down here and pick the edge, right? You do the, the edge has got the line. Just select a line. I got one of these selected. I'm gonna click right here and press E. It's a little flimsy. A little flimsy. We can fix that. Press E and the X. That way, it's on the X axis. And boom, you can press E and Z on the Z axis, right? E and X again, and we can go back the other direction. You can also use numbers, right? We talked about that. And then I could go back to faces here, click on that one and bring it up. I got a box, another a couple more boxes, little, little triangle looking, rectangle looking boxes. There we go, guys. Uh, it's a house and uh, or something. And you know, so basically you can extrude for days. We're gonna extrude all kind of stuff. Just press tab and go to our model here, object mode, and just get rid of that. Goodness gracious, X delete. Shift A, because we're gonna bring in a new cube. Go to mesh, right? And go up here, I gotta hold the arrow. We'll get the arrow very find cube. Boom, got him. Tab, back into edit mode. Now let's subdivide this. Remember that second tutorial? We did the whole subdivide thing. We had this thing chosen here. We did subdivide to add some, add some slits to the model. We could do it one time right there. Add a couple more times, some, add, some more, add some more slits. We'll slit on it. But anyway, after that, you got all kind of faces, right? Okay, so let's show you a couple tricks here. I'm going to grab this face right here, hold CTRL, hold it again, hold it again, hold it again, and then I've got these selected, right? I press E, and I can extrude up and down, right? Not going to go down, no. I'm going to press E, and then .25, enter. Look what I got there, a little, little wall around my floor. It's a, that's a pretty odd way to put it, but yeah, that's what I've got going on here. So check this out. I want to select rings of faces. I told you, select that and select or hold CTR on boom, you got that. You can grab those or whatever not. But what about this? Check this out. If you actually hold alt while you're doing that, you boom. I selected the whole ring. The whole ring of faces, all ring of them, I got all of them. I got all of them. Now if I hold shift and alt on another one, boom. And then boom. And then hold shift and alt another. And I'm kind of clicking on the corner there. So I've got all these faces. And I'm going to extrude them, right? Well, if I press E, uh-oh, it's going in a certain direction. I could change the direction, but they're all going that way. Well, if I press E and then S for size, uh-oh, what are we doing? What are we doing? Guy, you see what I'm doing. But see, one little problem, I don't want it to go up and down. We can stop that too. Control Z, check it out. E, S, and then Shift Z. So stop doing it on the E and the Z, and I got this. Look at that. Crazy. So let's do it and add a number. E, S, Shift Z, 0.25. Nope. Control Z, try again. E, S, Shift Z, 1.25. I like that. Okay, okay. See what's going on there? So, extruding, look at what I've done. I go back to object mode, look at my little model here. All kind of cutting all kind of slits in it and then moving them slits around a little bit. Um, you know, just to, to make stuff look cool, I might grab these four faces, hold and shift, grab these four faces. We'll go E.5. It already knew to go on the Z. And I can actually change these four to a point. I could size just the faces, right? I could press S and zero. Oh, ho, ho. A little triangle looking pyramid thing on top. I got all kind of subdivisions happening. And I mean, guys, this is just like a little something you can do with subdivisions. I know it's, 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 you know, it's, it's not a lot. It's, it's, it's not a, uh, they're not really subdivisions, but extruding, you know, I know it's not a lot, a lot of stuff, but I mean, it's really neat. You know, I, I can press tab again, X and delete. And, and, and just for future reference, you can do this with any model, but shift A. And when you go to mesh, you may create a cylinder. We'll look more into this next, but you got like a cylinder here, right? So I've already got this starting model here. It's pretty cool. And I could literally just do the same thing. Grab that E. Yeah. And I'm just going to grab these four. I'm holding shift and grabbing them and then E. And they're all coming out like that. It's kind of odd, though, because they're coming out on an axis. 
But I mean, hey, it's a lot to play with, guys. It's a lot to learn. I could do that on the other four sides and make it look all kind of neat looking. Um, but guys, hey, look, this is extruding. You can literally just, you can have a blast with it. You could E, S, Shift, Z here and add like a little lid and then bring this up a little bit like that. And boom, what do we got going on? What do we got going on? It was a fire hydrant. It's a bad one. But guys, thanks for watching about extruding. This is our third tutorial in Blender. Please subscribe to the Deprived Productions YouTube channel. Please, 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 we love you. And get, 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 go extrude some stuff, man. Go make some cool models. Let me, let me see them. Show them to me. Get here on the YouTube page and show everybody what we got going on, man. Let's use these tools and make some cool stuff together. You guys are awesome. I've had fun. We got all kinds of cool stuff to learn. Go check out our music. Go check out our other tutorials. We got music videos, lyric videos, and prototypes, and all kind of cool video game stuff coming. But you guys, enjoy creating, creation. Have a blast, and I'll see you soon.